Hello everybody and welcome to a new video tutorial from Dr. Leria's World and today again we are going to talk about Unreal Engine. So in this video tutorial we go deeper with data smith working with the simplest thing. And as I always told you, if you like this video tutorials, if you are learning, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and let's start with the party. For example, here in this thing and using some assets I have previously downloaded and buy from platforms as 3D Sky or Thigimod. I want to work in an easy way to show you some of the tricks you can use using uh, Datasmith with Unreal Engine. So talking about materials, as you know Datasmith is fully supported using V-Ray materials and when we have it in Unreal Engine we will see some of the parameters we can use. As you can see here this, uh, this is not a low poly modeling, this is more thinking about uh, architectural visualization. Um, it's really high quality and it's also it's a great optimized. You know, in Unreal Engine, it's really important to work with uh, optimized objects. And you can see here perfectly some of the objects and the modeling in this thing. We have seen general some parts of this project and now let's port. Select your name, select your um, select your file type in this uh, data smith and save the file in your desired folder okay now we are here in unreal engine and this uh, most finished project and with the lighting everything okay let's look here this is our project in 3ds max and this is our finished project in unreal engine and as we have seen in the previous video tutorial, we have imported using Datasmith in an easy way. For example, this is our folder structure. Here we have our um, this uh, Datasmith uh, thing, our geometries, materials also. These are the instant materials, the master materials, and also our textures. So in this project, I decided to use uh, Substance. If you know, the, there is a great library um, you can use, for example, Substance Source in this case. So you can use, for example, a plugin. You can download it from Epic Store. Here you got it. It's fully plenty of uh, assets and great quality assets. And I have here, for example, my assets some of the assets I have buy to, to use in my projects. The main reason I, I decide to use Substance is about these materials. This leather. Also, look at this fabric with uh, great imperfections. It offers a great quality for the materials. If you remember in the Ray Tracing video tutorial, we were talking about how to mix some techniques. In this case, I'm using a baking lighting and also using ray tracing for reflections and translucency. So for example, this is our bagel light. It's really nice. Maybe you can look some imperfections, but I'm, I'm not really worried about it. You know why? Because when you see it with your materials, uh, everything is going better, I'm pretty sure. And also for example, look at this here with a great uh, reflections using ray tracing. This where we're talking, and for example here this translucency. I I want to tell you I like a lot to work with a HDRI backdrop in this case. For example, in this case I'm using this one, this uh, light source, a directional light source. It offers a great high quality for begging lighting. And also, this is our HDRI backdrop. Inside, we have our skylights. I've set it some parameters. It's working really great. And also, for example, here, I have placed some portal lights. This is mainly because I want to avoid lighting problems in the light entries. So I prefer to use these portal lights. We have here our structure, okay, this in the weather liner. For example, we have 
um, every object in the same way that you are using in your 3D modeling software. I want to show you something about the light mapping. Okay, so let's look for example with this mesh and uh, let's press Alt 0 in your keyboard. Okay. Now look at this here. We have our light map density. Maybe I'm using here a higher value because I tell you before, uh, I'm using this model by it from 3D Sky. This is one of the things you can see, for example, when you download the model, that the best thing you can do, for example, in this case, is to separate every part of this model. So like that, it's not really necessary to put higher values in your light map density. The best way to do it is uh, to split every mesh and you can avoid these kind of problems. And you can see here, everything is great and with a nice quality. This in black because it is a translucent material. And we are using a high quality and values for our light map density. We have talked about the most of the thing about Datasmith and uh, we don't need to go deeper. But for example, we're gonna look for this instance material. Okay. And this is something great because this is automatic conversion from V-Ray to Unreal Engine. And one of the most important things when you are working with instance materials is that everything you can change, for example here, you can see it in real time. This is really nice. For example, we are changing here the color in this table. Okay. And also we change, for example, the UV scale. And you can see it in real time. This is something I can tell you is really powerful when you work with instance materials. But we are not going to talk about materials today, so don't worry about it. Now I want to show you the cinematic and sequencer. Here we have our, our theme. This is looking more like a sofa commercial, okay. But let's look here. We're gonna click in show frame per second to check our frame rate. Okay. And it's working really nice, 30 frames per second or more. This is because we are using a Beckett Global Illumination. And of course, this is offering me a great performance. Also, for example, look at this here. We are seeing some freckling in our reflections. We have talked about this in the previously video tutorial, talking about ray tracing. So let's open our post-process volume. We got it here. And let's check here for our ray tracing reflections, our samples per pixel. Okay, it's looking better and really high quality. Also check here, this codes some performance. And of course, keep in mind in every moment your frame rate in your project. Now I, want, now I want to show you here, look at this, really really nice and crisp reflections. As you know we are not using for example the ray tracing global illumination because it's already baked. And of course we are using the ray tracing for translucency. I need to tell you also that in this project we are not using reflection helpers. I'm pretty sure and I can tell you that it's really difficult to get a really great quality like that. Uh, working with, um, I can say, with the traditional uh, method in Unreal Engine. So this is something really awesome to work with ray tracing. So we are more or less at the end of this video tutorial. I hope you like it. Um, the main thing I want to show you is um, Something like the workflow, how to how to work with a Datasmith, how is, for example, organized everything, your folders, your geometries, your materials. We mentioned also the light baking method. So in a future video tutorial, we are going to talk about some of the techniques, for example, CPU, GPU, or also Luoshuan GPU light mass. 
I know this is a little bit outdated, but I'm working right now with uh, with this technique with Luos One GPU light mask, and right now in the 4.26 version, it's working really, really good. This more than a video tutorial was an overview of a simple project working in Unreal Engine and using Data Smith and ray tracing. As I always say, if you like it, if you enjoy it, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next video tutorial. Bye bye.